I'm going to guide you in how to color correct, color grade, and of course, add filters to your videos in CapCut right about now. Hi guys, great day, this is Ryan, welcome back to my channel, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and the notification icon so you will be updated every time I upload. In this video, I'm gonna guide you in how to color correct, color grade, and add filters to your CapCut video. So of course, we will be using this app called CapCut, which is a free video editing app, you can download this in Google Play Store for Android and of course check it out also for iOS so now here are the steps first is we're gonna open a new project so as you go here and open CapCut you have here a plus sign in which at the top and which says new project let's click that and of course we have to add the video in which we shot so I shot this video of plants the last time so let's review that as you can see it looks good but you can enhance or you can make this good as well and even it will look better all right so let's see the clip and of course first thing we're gonna do we're gonna delete this ending right here so the first tutorial that i'm gonna teach you is what is color correction color correction is that you correct the color so it will look like what it is seen in the naked eye so this is very subjective so we're gonna do that first thing you're gonna do is gonna highlight this one so in order for me to color correct this first i have to get the brightness right and of course to get the grays and the blacks to look real so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click adjust here and the first thing that i do as a tip in color correction is i'm gonna try and press the saturation thing here and i'm gonna pull it down so i can adjust that later on then let's go to brightness how bright is it when you shot this so color correction is making the things look real as in the time that you have shot it next is the contrast so let's create a balance so that not everything will be black as black right there a little bit all right and of course exposure want it not too bright like that or not too dull like that so just in between all right and of course one thing that I do is I add a I add sharpness a little bit right here and of course the highlights which is the whites so I think let's make that wider for the whites to look white shadows I'm good with the shadows and the temperature I'm good with it now the last thing that we're gonna adjust is the saturation so this is where how does this thing look when I shot this and how does this thing look at the naked eye so if I go further look at that that's oversaturated I think even if I go to zero that is still saturated I'll go three or four steps lower like that okay so that's it this is the original on how it looks the moment I shot it you know at this point you can see me right there the mirror holding my camera so let's see let's take a look right. it looks real it looks just how it looks with my naked eye so that's color correction I've corrected the color now the next thing that we're gonna do is color grading color grading is editing this video with special colors and how you want it to look so you want to change the mood the look and feel so for us to do that we have to go to the adjust section and then we have to adjust if you want it to be like a little bit grainy or dreamy so you put fade if you want it to look like uh, uh, 
you want it to look all with with smudges on the sides you put vignette right there also if you want it to be grainy so this is adding your own feel adding your own touch to the picture or to the video so we're gonna add that in saturation and uh, we put that a little bit so this has been graded to look vintage or look old so that is color grading as you can see now one easy way one easy way to color grade is so let's get back to the original by placing uh, of course let's uh, put it back to where we originally made it to be so I think right there so this is our color corrected video the easiest thing for color grading in CapCut is to use filters now when you go here when you click that you go here you see that filters and of course it has filters all over it so you have now choices now these are instant color grading so if you want to look at life nature right there so it looks nature-ish autumn look at that that's another color grading effects by using filters then you have color winter tan holiday you have lots of choices there for you for example i choose autumn and then i want to adjust it you can adjust it here on how how strong or how intense the grading will be so this is so easy to use and also you have here food tasty foodie ice eclipse for movies we have here scent dog days dunkirk dreamy see look and feel is changing next we have nature so clear we have here fuji shade remote also spring wow look at that very clean looking now we also have here retro vhs1 vhs2 vhs3 hk those are color grading through filters 1970 1980 vintage of course we have black and white look at that fade style of course right there punk sepia red orange lime neon so let's i think we're gonna go to food and start foodie and i'm gonna adjust it take a look at that so as you can see now this has been color corrected and color graded to look in a certain way now this is just a sample this is not in depth but hopefully it will give you an idea how to color correct color grade and add filters in CapCut. and i know that if you apply this you will enjoy so much the videos that you have taken giving it your own taste and giving it a look and feel that you love Woohoo! Also, I would like you to check other tutorial videos on CapCut in this channel. And also, thanks for being here. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. You are on our road to 6K. The best is coming. See you on the next one.